Autonomous vehicles have been a huge focus of asymmetric investing over the past six months or so. And I think this is one of those industries that could potentially be worth trillions of dollars just a decade, maybe 15 years from now. And everybody is trying to figure out what their business model is going to be. Remember, this is the most important thing when you're looking at a new technology. It's not usually the best technology that wins. It's the right business model for the moment that wins. The big news this week was that Waymo announced a partnership with Toyota. That could bring Waymo's technology to Toyota vehicles that you can actually buy for yourself. This is not the only big partnership that we got just even in the past couple of weeks. So I'm going to dig through everything you need to know beyond the hype that's happening with Tesla. There's actually a lot more action happening with other companies and vehicles actually going to be on the road in 2025. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. I want to highlight this briefly and just show what Waymo and Toyota are starting to do. This is a strategic partnership in aut uh, autonomous vehicles. They're going to explore a collaboration focused on accelerating the development of autonomous driving technologies that would likely make its way into Toyota vehicles. A lot of different ways that that could go. I want to come back to this, but this is not the only company that's building out an autonomous vehicle strategy. Go back to 2013. That was when Volkswagen, using mobilized technology, started driving vehicles in Germany and Austin, Texas. Yes, Volkswagen is a known operator by regulators in the city of Austin before Tesla is. And this is not just a one-off. Volkswagen is going to be operating the same vehicle, the mobile powered vehicles, in Los Angeles on the Uber platform, and that should be beginning next year. On top of that... This is this week, Uber announced that May Mobility is going to be going to start operating vehicles on the Uber platform. And they said they're going to deploy thousands of autonomous vehicles on Uber's platform over the next few years. This is going to be operating in Arlington, Texas by the end of 2025. So May Mobility not be a, may not be a name that you know in autonomous driving, but it maybe should be because they are actually one of the companies that's actually deploying vehicles today. There's two companies with commercial operations today in the United States. One is Waymo doing about 250,000 rides per week. The other is May Mobility's other big partnership is with Lyft. So here again, Lyft is also partnering with Mobileye, again, the company that's building the technology for Volkswagen to make Mobileye powered vehicles Lyft ready is what they say. The other big piece of news over the past year was that General Motors bought out Cruise. That was the robo taxi business that they were building. So millions of miles that they did testing full autonomy with crews, but they brought that in-house because they want to be able to sell those vehicles with full, fully autonomous features, level three and level four autonomy to individual customers. So here's the big strategic shift that I think investors need to get through their minds is that this is not going to be a winner take all market. There are dozens of companies who are involved in autonomous vehicles today, and some of them are much, much further along than Tesla is in actually building a fully autonomous vehicle that can drive itself and actually meet regulatory requirements that we have in the US. Tesla has not put any miles that we have seen so far in either Texas or California. We'll see if that changes over the next few months. But there's a long way to go and multiple years that all these companies have gone through testing to actually get their fully autonomous vehicles on the road. But you're also seeing jockeying with what is the business model going to be for the future? So that I, I think the way that things are playing out is the automakers are going to continue to be the automakers in the autonomous vehicle world. Then there's going to be a layer of modular or specialized companies that are sort of a horizontal business model willing to work with multiple automakers to build the autonomous vehicle technology itself. So that's what Mobileye is doing. That's what May Mobility is doing. That's what this partnership with Waymo is potentially leading to. It's potentially leading to a new business model where Waymo, maybe they operate their own vehicles, but also they're willing to sell it to Toyota or license it to Toyota to actually sell to individual buyers. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Now, could this lead to Toyota actually manufacturing a vehicle for Waymo as well? Sort of a win-win for both sides. I think that is potentially where we're headed with this. Toyota and Waymo aim to combine their respective strengths to develop a new autonomous vehicle platform. Platform is a nice way of saying we're going to develop new vehicles, maybe even new form factors. In parallel, the companies will explore how to leverage Waymo's autonomous technology and Toyota's vehicle expertise to enhance next generation personally owned vehicles. The scope of the collaboration will continue to evolve through ongoing discussions. 
So two ways that this could go forward. We know that Waymo has tried to build custom-made vehicles. The first of those is the Zeker vehicle that's shown here. This is at CES this year. The problem with that is that Zeker has 100% tariffs coming into the U.S. So those probably aren't going to be viable to bring into the U.S. So what they did late last year was they announced a partnership with Hyundai to just use the Ionic. This is a already made vehicle. And then they're just going to put all of their own equipment on the vehicle right at the end of the assembly line. So it's not going to be a completely new platform, but it is a custom vehicle that's being customized at the plant by Hyundai. But Waymo, if they're going to really take this seriously, if they're going to start building tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of vehicles, and they're going to bring that cost down from somewhere around $100,000 per vehicle today to a much more reasonable lump number like forty dollars or $50,000 per vehicle, they're going to have to get serious about building a platform that's going to scale much more. And I think that's where Toyota potentially fits here. Toyota wants to have the te technology for their own vehicles, for those personally owned vehicles. That's that licensing model that could be available. But Waymo needs a manufacturing partner and a company that will build an autonomous electric vehicle that's going to be cost effective for them. I think this, that's where this ultimately ends up. But it's going to take a few years to do that. If they're building a whole new platform, that's not something that's going to launch in 2025 or even in 2026. We're probably looking at two, three, maybe even four years out into the future. But just look at how many companies are thinking about this as a business model. I think the way that we're going to be able to take advantage of this as investors is look at the companies who are providing the technology that not everybody's going to be able to do themselves. I don't think that every automaker is going to make their own autonomous vehicle technology. That's why I own shares of Mobileye. That's why I own shares of Alphabet, who owns Waymo. I think that's going to be a valuable piece of the value chain. The other piece that I think is going to be continue to be extremely valued is actually be connecting people with those auto autonomous vehicle supply. So Uber and Lyft, two companies that I said are now starting to partner with more and more autonomous vehicle companies. I own both of those stocks in part because I think autonomy makes their addressable market at least 10 times bigger, if not more than that. That should provide lots of tailwinds over the next decade. And it really takes kind of the biggest challenge, which is supply and the people you actually have to have driving vehicles on your platform or on your marketplace it's going to make that much less of a challenge if you have autonomous vehicles and you know how much supplies there, there's going to be, you know, how, know how to price that supply. So a lot of moving parts happening in autonomy today. I think what we know is that a lot of companies are moving forward and they're potentially going to get on the road before Tesla is, especially at scale. So if you're looking at autonomous vehicles, maybe Tesla isn't the right way, way to play it. Maybe it's going to be some of these other stocks that I've talked about here. Alphabet, obviously a player. Clearly, you get a much, much bigger business with the search business and YouTube and everything else, but you have Mobileye and then also Lyft and Uber, I think are going to be ways to play autonomy and get a ton of tailwinds from the developments that we've seen here. But let me know what you think about the future of autonomy. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.